Alright, here we are playing more Kung Fu Cutsman's Adventure and yeah, where we last left off, I thought I was, you know, done with the game. I thought I beat the last guy there, but I did not. And hold on a second, I don't know how many tanks I'm supposed to pick up here, so let me just cut out and come back here in a second. Alright, so, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna pick up six E-Tanks here, like, I went back and watched the, you know, quote, final part there, <laughs> and, yeah, I had eight E-Tanks and one M-Tank there at the final video, so yeah, I'm just gonna pick up six here, you know, and, yeah, I think I'm undershooting it a little bit there, but, you know, that's fine, so, yeah, um, let's see here. How do we want to do this? Probably with the C kick. Oh, well, that might not have been such a good idea. Yeah, and dude, this is gonna be really freaking tough here. I can already tell. This jump right here. Let's just. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh what the. This is super hard. Hmm. Maybe we do, wait. Maybe we do the bass jump here. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that from like one of the very earliest episodes. There, we learned that the bass jump, you know, carries over here. So yeah, that's very sneaky. That's probably you know why the stage has a negative score there. Like, that's a very um, hidden game mechanic, so like if you did not play the first stages, like you probably won't know about this. <laughs> so, yeah, Ooh. run! No, oh my god, Jesus! Well, it is the final stage, so <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be really tough. But yeah, right now I'm just failing here. Let's be, let's be real. There you go. There you go. And I don't really care about taking damage. If we die here, we die from, yeah, we die from falling into a pit. Nice, okay. Okay, okay, so, what the heck? That's a very weird mechanic with the gyres there. <laughs> oh well, I I've never seen this, but yeah, oh, and I guess another thing that I should mention here now, um, yeah, I, I already sp recorded the special, you know, episode there, the Roller C stage, so yeah, this is will actually be past that one, and uh, yeah, so when I started that one, I actually just picked up five or six E-Tanks in that one as well, um, so yeah. Depending on, on how I do here, uh, things might be a little bit weird here in the next two episodes. Or maybe I'll just tack that one on, you know, right after this one. You know, back them in into the same one. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, you can dodge this, but it's super freaking tight. Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? Screw this. Kill him. There you go. What's not harder than that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need this here. Yeah, this will actually just pierce these guys. But then again, that might impede my jumping. Oh. Yeah, this is a conundrum, and I should have used, used the bass yet. there. I might... Yeah, I might die up ahead here, since I don't have the bass yump. Yeah, and I am very close to dead. Yeah, let's just use the sea kick there. I don't want to risk it. Oof, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice. Hmm. A 
we go? <laughs> Question mark? Hmm. Well, that was unfortunate. Let's just put it at that. Let's try it again. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. And oh my god, look at the culture. And culture in this room, or like on this kind of lips, is not really working out a lot. Oh, look at that, that was a big ass skull there. Huh. Pretty cool. Wait, there are reset buttons here. What do I do with the reset button, I wonder? Hmm. Holy crap. Do I actually need to kill him as well? Oi, oi, oi. Whoa. Hmm. This is one crazy ass boss. Bass. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta sit here and wait for this every time we die. Alright. Let's try and do this again. Like, just... Yeah, just stay here, I guess. Don't walk too close to Woodman. Yeah, and I should be safe if I do that. You know, just keep the distance here. No. Uh, this guy still might get me, but yeah. Okay. And this is gonna take a very long time with the cutter here. I might want to search for a weakness. But yeah, you guys know me, I like to do these kind of special bosses with, you know, the standard weapon, but... Like, I could just play this very safe and basically not take damage, but... It's gonna take very long, maybe... Maybe we want to play a little bit more aggressive here. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe we don't want to play aggressive because yeah, it's giving me more grief than <laughs> more grief than perks. But yeah, let's just fall here and try and shoot. Yeah, if you wanted to play really safe, I guess you could just like take one shot here and then you know. You know, another here, and then, you know, just wait here. Like, you might as well. <laughs> okay, I can't make that bounce up. Can we... Hmm. Well. Let's just... This... And I am pretty sure this is only the mid-boss here too. It would not surprise me. There is another one. This looks very end gamey though, but yeah. I have a feeling there is more. Oh my god. Freaking leaves conceal themselves there. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's speed this up a little bit. This is gonna take way too long if I do it like this. Let's see. That only did about two damage. I would like to have a little bit more than that. And that doesn't help but in the least. Is it this? Nope. You know what? Use an E-Tank. And yeah, we're gonna hope that it's the Pharaoh shot. Please, big money, nope, no money at all, but it's way faster than the cutter, so yeah, might as well use it, I guess. Okay, one more shot, one more shot, come on. And boom! What? No! Yes! <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh! Oh, that was the final boss. Huh. Well. Let's <laughs> let's vote it up. Um. Yeah. The stage was pretty hard, but very short. Um. So yeah, I guess it's kind of like you know a traditional Mega Man 
style level, you know, where you, you know, like if if you were to think back of Mega Man 2, you know, we had that uh, short, you know, uh, corridor with those heavily damaging acid driplets, you know, going down on the player there. Um, so yeah, I guess it was kind of like that. But yeah, um, pretty cool, like very creative final boss there as well. Um, so yeah, I guess that was the real Skloof man fight. Like we we did we did fly, but yeah, we did fight Skloof Skloof master in the fourth episode there, like in a regular boss room. But yeah, this the, this here was his final machine there, if you will. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll probably just say goodbye here and uh, introduce you to <laughs> uh, past Nick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, pass Nick will take over and play through the, uh, the extra stage there, so yeah. Have fun! <laughs> Alright, we are back here with the yet another <laughs> KFC man stage here, and holy cow, I, yeah, I did not think about how many E-tanks and M-tanks I had. <laughs> I think I had around five or so when I lost play through this, um, but yeah. This is a bonus stage, the last stage here, um, and apparently this uh, stage also holds the true final boss of the adventure here. So yeah, KFC man asked me to, uh, well, he didn't really ask me to do this, but yeah, he said that, yeah, uh, if I want to truly complete the game, basically, I need to go back and also do this one here. So yeah, now I'm back here to do this. Um, and yeah, hopefully this holds the same quality as all the Skloof Fortress stages, because those were a ton of fun to play, actually. Let's see here. So far we have had Yoko Blocks and these Darkening Blocks here. Yeah? So you gotta be a little bit careful. Let's just jump over this guy here. Hmm. Interesting. They have a very nice visual effect here in this stage, I gotta say. Ooh, and this is interesting. Look at this. There will probably be spikes in the roof. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> so yeah, we just gotta time our approach here. Oh my goodness. Ooh. You know what, I could have si sat here. Yeah, I was safe here. I Yeah, I just panicked. Well, I took a crap ton of damage, so I won't be surprised if I don't make it this run here. How should we deal with this guy? I guess like this. Nope. Or maybe, yeah, maybe we just won't deal with him at all. Let's just skip him. And, oh no. Don't kill me, guys. Can we? Yeah, that's a much better way of dealing with those. <laughs> wow, that was kind of scary. No! Okay, yeah. We, we just cannot take more damage here. We gotta be really careful. Seriously. And here, we might just want to. Yeah, use the sea kick to our full advantage. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no! <laughs> wow! Oh my god, look at the backtracking. Hmm. Oh well, I'll be back here in a sec. Whew, okay, back here again. I took a hell of a beating getting back here. Once again, so yeah. I'm not looking too hot. 
And yeah, look, that that was all I had to do. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of panicked in the last time. But yeah, we should have this. You know what? You gotta quit that. You're annoying me. There we go. Oh, yo, dude, that was so unnecessarily risky for me then. Oh, no. Oh, I see. I might want to use my E tank here. Or maybe I don't have to. Oh! Yeah, very nice. Very nice. I did not have to. I think I'm in the clear. But yeah. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> if there is an enemy upcoming here, I will probably just use the E-Tank I just got there. I don't want to take any risks. Um, well, I guess... Yeah, I guess we can just do this here. Nice, I would love to have that, but... I don't think it's gonna be up for grabs, that little health pallet there. Very nice, okay. Very, very nice. There we go, and I should probably just get suicided, because yeah, I'm not I'm not confident I can make this. You know what? Let us burn our ramp tank and get this here. And yeah, big fail. <laughs> there you go. Finally, we got it. So now we can just see, cocky, <laughs> see, kick our way out of here. No, no, oh no, no, no. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's get a plate safe here. Dang it, I missed my timing window there. Alright, go. Wait. And I might want to have the leaf shield ready. No, 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 no. Leaf shield, not the snake. <laughs> Actually... Oh, no, wait, we're supposed to... Yeah, we're supposed to go down here. I have to say, this stage is actually pretty hard. Like, it's very easy to take damage and a lot of instant death as well. And, yeah. It would be nice if you could take some of these guys out in the sheep way here. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Hmm. Wow. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, get out of there. Oof. No, 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 no. Leave you. Leave you. And this is a great grinding spot, actually. You know what? Let me sit here and grind for a bit. <laughs> There we go. Back to full health, and I also filled up some of my weapons there. So yeah, looking a lot better here now. Oh crap. Oh no no no. Okay. Whew. Yeah, this weapon is so nice for taking out turrets. Just pierces right through them. Hmm. You know what? Let us just... Once again, play very safe. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Thank God for the big health there. Jeez. 
Yeah, no, I'm chancing it with that. Okay, very nice. to be and Jesus we are going to need a black hole bomb for this this is a little bit too much to deal with otherwise okay very nice holy cow so this is the true final boss yeah I've actually made a crash man boss like this here before too like a long time ago back in 2017 um, I discovered this as well, if you have a crash man, you know, if you have a one tile gap in between two walls to the sides of him, he will basically just do this little dance here, and once you shoot, you know, he'll jump up and go down into this pit and, you know, either break it forth there too. Yeah, it's a pretty fun uh, pattern there. Let's see here. Which weapon do we want to use for this? I guess the fairy shell is as good as any. Oh my god, am I going to die here? I would like to not die against this guy. <laughs> I ran right into the red laser there. Hmm. Well, yeah. Maybe we should just use the cutter, you know. You started with cut Kung Fu Cutsman and it ends with Kung Fu Cutsman here. Oh my god, but this weapon might not be too good against Crash Man here. Well, actually it is pretty good, you just, you just need to not suck like I did. That's, yeah, that was the big issue there. <laughs> just don't suck like me. <laughs> yeah, you know what, the cutter actually works pretty well. Like with the regular buster you can get in like two shots or so, like in between each cycle. Like once when he jumps and once when he lands. Uh, at least in the regular, you know, Mega Man 2, when the hit frames are, or hit invulnerability frames are much lesser than in this game. But yeah. Alright, okay, you know, let's see if we can find a weakness here. <laughs> that just took ages to do. Huh. So for defeating that guy, we got, got the flame sword, but yeah. Let's see here. That was the Roller C guy. I'm not really sure who that is. Roller C. That's another forum member, I'm pretty sure. Roller C. Yeah. <laughs> so that was his stage anyway. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Definitely was a very hard stage. Like, like it took a lot of damage, you know, just from taking hits, you know, by simple enemies. And, you know, the threat was also there by, you know, instant death from spikes and, you know, shite like that. So, yeah, you know, pretty cool stage there too round things off with. So yeah, I guess now I'm truly done with the Kung Fu, Fu Cutsman's adventures there. Yeah, but like once again, a really fun series to play through, especially the like final five stages here. Like definitely really cool stuff. But yeah, um, I will just leave it at that and I'll be on my way here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.